Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. This month, the show takes you back to your favorite meats. Now, here's your host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today, we are on location at Dintel Technical High School near Linstead. With me are Mr. Dennis Clark, the principal of the school, and Kellyanne Williamson, a student of home economics. Thanks very much for hosting us at your school. Yeah. Wonderful pleasure to have you oh, today. It is our pleasure to be here. Tell us a little about Dintel Technical High School. You seem to occupy a wide expanse of land. Eh? We started in the 1st of April, 1938, many years mm -hmm. ago. Today we continue on the same program. We provide for the children of farmers from the parishes of Clarendon, St. Mary, St. Anne and St. Catherine, an opportunity to get a secondary education. Beautiful. I think today we have made it better. Our core mission is to provide a first-class education for our children. But at the epicenter of our program here is agriculture. Yes. And it's home economics being integral to that program. Definitely. We are situated on 137 acres of land. Mm -hmm. We have a very extensive agriculture program, both tutorial and, eco and um, commercial program. As I saw in my visit to the farm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We do, we, we are a contract farmer for Caribbean broilers. We produce some, some 12,000 birds every six weeks. We rear some um, 40 dozen hegs per day from our, our, our layer project. Mm -hmm. And we do have um, two herds of, of cattle. We have a beef herd and we have a milk herd. And we do small ruminants, sheep, goats, and um, a wide variety of tutorial um, and projects like and peacocks and pheasants and all these things. Kellyan Williamson. Kellyan, I hear you have many hats. I hear um, you sing very well, is that true? Yes, oh, I do. Oh, Bird told me that. We welcome you here with our open arms. We hope to see you again. The beautiful smile, the creative scene. We hope we'll be best of friends. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again. You can sing very well and I hear you cook very well. What it's are you good. cooking for us today? Well, today I'm making chicken fiesta pie. Hello, I'm Kellyanne Williamson here at Dintel Technical High School and I'm making the famous chicken fiesta pie. First, I'm going to pour stock, chicken stock, to the pot to boil. Then I'll be adding some carrots, Irish potato, and some turnips. After putting in the turnips, I'm going to put in some chopped onions. Now I'm putting in the chicken. By doing this, I will leave it to cook for 15 minutes. Now I'll be making a roux. I will be pouring this into a small saucepan and let it cook for about two minutes. Remember to keep stirring to prevent it from lumping and to make it smooth. Now, I'm adding my green peas and carrots. I'll be adding my roux to the chicken mixture. Mix well so everything can be distributed evenly and leave it to simmer for five minutes. I'll be adding a little bit of black pepper and some salt for taste and flavoring. At this point, I'm going to start making my crust. Remember never to over knead the flour because it will get tough. If it's too soft, you add a little more flour to it. And you should always flour your board so when rolling, prevents it from sticking and flour the pin as well. Okay, now we can go back to check on the chicken mix and it's ready, so turn off the stove. 
and put it to cool. This is what the mixture should look like when it has been cooled. And I'm going to place it into my pie dish. Now I'm going to make the covering for the pie. Use a rolling pin to take off excess edges. As for the remainder of the dough, I'll be using it to make a ring to put around the edge. I'll be using my knife to cut a one inch X in the middle. Open. Then it will be placed in the oven to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi, Kellyanne. Hi. <laughs> well, you not only can see well, but you, you are very good at working with pastry. Right? And you have glazed the pastry. It has a lovely sheen. Eh? Yes. All right. If you want your, your pie to look shiny, you can use some beaten eggs and glaze the top, brush over the top. An egg wash. Eh? Yes. Right. Beautifully garnished. Tomato I see. roll. Okay. What's the accompaniment you have there for, for, for the pie? This is a tossed vegetable salad. Yes. Okay. And here we have some Jamaican gizzard. Oh, using short crust pastry short too. Short crust right? pastry as and well. And a coconut filling? Yes. Okay. Please. In the mailbox is a question of techniques in making good quality pastry. And with me is Mrs. Warren from the, the Home Economics Department here at Dental Technical High School to address the concern. What are some of the techniques that we really need to employ to have good quality pastry? Well, Maisie, in making your pastry, you should make, ensure that you have very cool conditions. Right. So the ingredients must be yes, very cool. Yes, the ingredients should be very cool. Right. After you have added the fat to the flour and you have added that liquid, and you make that dough, then you should allow it to relax in the refrigerator Definitely. for about 20 to 30 minutes. Very beautiful. Yes. And when you are rolling, when you take it out and to roll it on the, roll it on the board, yes. then you should ensure that you sprinkle a small amount of flour onto that board. To so prevent to, the pastry from sticking. To prevent the pastry from sticking. Do mm. not add a lot of flour. If you do that, then the consistency of the pastry will, will change. Will change, definitely. Yes. And as you mentioned, the liquid that is used to bind the ingredients, that too must be icy cold. Yes? Icy cold. You yes. should ensure that there is icy cold condition. It is also important that when you are baking the pastry, the oven temperature should be a little higher than that for ordinary cakes. I want to thank you for sharing those ideas. And guess what? If they just practice what you just said a while ago, your pastry will be perfect. Thanks so much again. Hope you enjoyed the show in spite of the rain showers that you probably heard while we were recording. Till next time, thanks for watching. Next week, the show will present another interesting meal idea featuring one of the meats that Jamaicans so enjoy. That's 7.35 next Monday morning on Smile Jamaica with a repeat on Sunday at 2.20 p.m. Be sure to tune in.